Um, hello scientists, today we are going to learn about friction pens, which another name for it are erasable pens because they are pens and their ink can get erased by this eraser. So we're going to learn and see how these friction pens actually erase. So we're going to write my name, Lisa, and now you see this thing at the bottom of it? That is called the eraser of the friction pen. That's quite called erasable pens because they're pens that can get erased by their their eraser now for people that think in magic it's fine 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 if you guys think that this is magic it's your opinion but for the people that do not think in magic you may think different stuff or else it's absorbing or else it's something else so if you guys think it's absorbing that answer is actually wrong so you may think where does the ink go but the ink actually doesn't go anywhere. It just changes colors. So my mother one day was going to write a letter to my teacher saying that somebody was going to pick me up at after school. And then she put it next to the heater by accident instead of in my backpack. And then the next day, when we took it off to bring to school off the heater, it all the letters disappeared. So me and my dad were wondering what can make that chemical reaction make it disappear. So we decided, at first we thought it was absorbing the the ink. So we decided to do the test. We did a little mark on my, on my page. We turned it around and started erasing. Another page. So if it would be... So... If it would be erasing and if it would be absorbing, it wouldn't be absorbing from another page. That's why our result was not correct. It was incorrect. Absorbing can't go through a page. So that is how we understood that it couldn't be absorbing. And then today, finally, me and my daddy decided to do a test. So I'm just going to write my name in three different colors. Now the last color. Okay, so first, okay, so this is called a. Uh, it's sort of like a, it's like fire, except blue fire, which is even hotter than real red fire. So if you can see here, okay. I'm gonna try to open this up. We understood that it was heat because. If I put this thing up and I go like that, it it would erase the whole thing. That is pretty imp impressive how fast it, it can go. And that is how I got my result. But if you put it in the refrigerator, it will reappear. Now, let's go back to the refrigerator. Refrigerator. Okay, so right now we're going to put it in the coldest part or else it might take more time and I don't want to waste it. So I'm going to put the paper inside. There we go. And okay, so now that we're done with it, we're going to take out the paper and see our results. Our results came out really good, except not as good as like if it was all appeared. The the green and the red didn't really appear, but as you can see over here, there is still kind of red. The red is the least, green is medium, and then the blue appeared the most. So the name of this ink is called thermochromic ink. Chromic stands for color, and thermo is basically like thermometer or heat. Okay, and for the other demonstration, because it's really cool, I'm going to make it all disappear.
Ça va prendre feu. <rire> yeah. So, actually, when you're using a friction pen and using something like this, don't try to put it too close. I know that it might be a very cool and awesome trick, but it just took fire and that's not good. So, be careful and make it go pretty far away from the paper or else it might take fire. Thank you. Bye.